Number four, I have the Dallas Mavericks. Boy. <laughs> We're cooking right now. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is a team that I overrated last year, and I'm worried I'm overrating them again. This is a prove-it year now for Luka. He's had the two years where, kind of like LeBron, you get let off the hook a little bit. Oh, he's young. He doesn't have much around him. He's still learning how to figure it out. But Luka truly dominates every aspect on the floor offensively. I need to see a little bit more of him defensively. But the Mavericks need to make a step. Otherwise, there are going to be narratives that he can't succeed in the NBA beyond just putting up a ton of stats and losing in the first round. So it's going to be an important year for him to show. And I just don't know if he's taken on that Giannis or LeBron or Kevin Durant mentality where they just get in the gym endlessly. Uh, And once he reaches that point, like Jokic did it last year, that's when we'll really see Luca take it to another level. Obviously excited to watch him do it this year though. Porzingis is going to get offensive increase according to Jason Kidd, some more post touches. I thought it was an interesting mention on a podcast that I was listening to where it's important to get Porzingis touches on offense, not because it's efficient or he, he may not do that well in those situations. And we've complained about his inability to score against smaller defenders but at least gets him into the flow of the game and knows that he's being relied on to play offensively, which could encourage him to give more effort on the defensive end. So you're sacrificing a couple possessions for hopefully a more engaged player throughout the entire game. And that is totally worth it to the Dallas Mavericks. So we'll see how Jason Kidd implements that. And I think that's going to be really important for this team. I think their best offseason signing was Reggie Bullock coming over from New York Knicks as a guy who can defend twos and threes and and knock down an open shot to space the floor for Luca. Yeah, I despite that, the Mavericks, one of the teams whose roster has changed less relative to others, especially like most of the teams I've rated higher than I did last year. We'll see a lot more of that in the East um, is because of the improvements they've made. But it's really for one thing I read that intrigued me was this will be Porzingis' first time entering a season without having just rehabbed an injury which should be helpful for him uh, but really I'm expecting Luca to take over I think last year was a pseudo breakout as like a top top player in the league and this is the year I'm betting on him finishing that breakout and becoming a perennial like top five player in the league you could argue he's already there he was fourth in MVP voting last year season so maybe he is already there but still expecting him to elevate and when I talked about Iron Man potential I I can see Luca getting averaging pretty close to a triple double throughout the season some or at least like some stupid high combination of points and assists and yeah Dallas Mavericks number four off that despite relatively less depth than some other teams have <laughs> 